I'm sure, I don't care who's watching this, I've been fired more times than they have. <laughs> oh, yeah. Each time I tried to have a job out of necessity, I was fired. I started uh, a meeting uh, in 1984 called TED, which st stood for and stands for a convergence that I observed. I observed that in 1984, that was a while ago, the technology business, the entertainment industry, and the design professions, the best of those professions were becoming one profession. Uh, jokingly then I called it Tedologist. Nobody picked up that word, nobody cared about it. Um, and uh, it had a difficult time in its first year because nobody knew what the hell I was talking about. And then by the time I did the second co conference, it, it hadn't become old news, but it had become a leading edge observation. And now it's really old news. And now you can't believe that everybody didn't know it to begin with. Much the same way in 1976, I created a term called information architect and information architecture. Nobody knew what I was talking about. And now it's ubiquitous and, and there's 100,000 people that call themselves, that's a non-scientific number, they call themselves information architects and they have no idea I created the term. And in fact, there's about 20 that I know of TED-like conferences that try to follow the DNA of TED. Besides the TED conference I started and sold in 2002, um, so, which they follow some DNA and not the others because they still don't get it. They still think it's a surface observation that makes something happen and not the desire not the desire to do something. 